Hi Cancer, welcome to your new love read. This is for my single Cancerians out there, or my curious Cancers, of course, you guys are always welcome. My name is Michelle and this is for my Cancer Sun and Rising signs. New love, next love, your next romantic partner, your new lover, coming into you during the time period of mid to late February, March or April 2024. Of course, play with time a little bit. This could be someone that you've recently met. So, Cancer, let's see who is coming in for my Cancerians for until late February, March, or April. Cancer. Cancer's next love. Ooh. Cancer's next lover, please, Spirit. Please show me Cancer's next lover. And what kind of energy will you be in when this person comes towards you, Cancer? What kind of energy will my Cancerians be in? And what kind of energy will this person be in? Whoa, two, whoa, 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 three cards. Well, we'll take them. And the potential outcome between the two of you. All right, Cancer, are you ready? Let's get into it. Beautiful, the sun. Spring, summertime, no matter what, uh, where you are in the world, I do feel that there is going to be something that comes in that um, that brings a sense of uh, opening things up for you, Cancer. Meaning, you may have been quite, uh, you may have been a, in a dark place, so you may have just been dark in terms of the weather. But whatever this darkness is, this connection is going to bring some joy, some light your way. Uh, it could be yeah, the world. We've got, uh, I feel it's a sunny climate or a sunny part of the world, or it will be when this person comes in. Um, they may be, there may be someone here who is re-evaluating or re-evaluating their place in the world or they could be traveling of course as well with the world card uh, they may be quite different from you in terms of their ethnicity their cultural background this person could be uh, leo or taurus we also have the uh, the hierophant here as well i do feel that this person is a big personality when they walk in the room people certainly notice them I do get them as uh, someone who has a lot of knowledge, a quite inspiring individual. They may be a teacher, or they may, uh, or they may be studying to be a teacher. I get knowledge. I get a sense of uh, information around this power. Uh, this power of theirs is one that is quite neutral, meaning they are not overbearing. Um, they're not an angry individual. Um, I feel that this person is kind of low-key, laid-back, but they know a lot and they have a lot to share. But it may take time for them to open up and I feel that they probably need direct, more direct questions to open up. Now, how will you be when they come into your life? Quite composed, actually. We've got King of Cups energy. Now, male or female, I feel that uh, you could be just in your happy place, you know, going about your, your daily business, uh, being at your local coffee place. Um, you could be grabbing a uh, quick tea in the, in the tea room on, on the way to or from um, you know, coming back from a break or something at work. I'm getting that for a lot of my uh, Cancerians. This person seems to be have a connection with the sea. Now they could you could live in a seaside location, or you could be they could be from a seaside location. You may be seeing signs that this person is on their way to you. And I did just hear a voice call out, um, which is interesting. Now it could have just been hello, but something like that. Sorry guys, I just had to stop there for a moment and what I heard was the, the word Damien. Okay, could mean something, yeah, it, it said that again, someone saying Damien. Now it could be something that means something to you, it, it may be nothing, but uh, anyway, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. 
the energy that they'll be in, and I'm not reading these in reversal, we've got the strength card. So I feel like for them, they've been going through uh, a, a completion in their life. I feel like there's been a lot of, um, there's a lot of new in this person's life. I feel like this person has had to go through a, a, a trial. Uh, it's a trial that they've uh, successfully completed. Uh, they've shown a lot of strength. Uh, but they've remained soft, meaning they have not uh, been embittered or they haven't become an angry, embittered person as a result of what they've been through in life. And um, they're slowly and surely getting ahead, that's for sure. Taking it slow and with the Six of Pentacles, um, this, this person has been a giver in their life. Um, they are someone who is an unexpected gift, a surprise that's coming in for you. And I feel like um, Cancer, this is a very good person that's coming in to you. Um, I do feel that this is someone who is grounded, uh, gifted. There's a sense of beauty, of joy, there's a sense of responsibility, of purpose, of uh, groundedness with this person, a lot of inner strength, and this person is a find. They're absolutely a find. Uh, they, uh, they are kind and good to those around them, uh, to animals, they're a, a big animal lover. And we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is going to be a romantic connection for you two. Yeah, I feel like this person is, is someone who, again, I get the beach or uh, by the shore or you're somewhere where you connect. Um, it, it's very, it's very harmonious. It's uh, quiet. It's, it's a sense of um, connection, connecting with spirit, with nature. Uh, nothing too big or grandiose, this is just nice. Uh, some of my Cancerians in their younger days might have thought this was a little bit boring, but no, I, I feel like this is something that you're wanting, something that you're craving, this sense of contentment and fulfillment in a partnership, in companionship. Um, okay, now let's see, what else do you need to know about this person, Cancer? Who is Cancer's next lover, please, Spirit? Ooh. Okay, yeah, this person's quite intense in, when it comes to their thoughts. They have a very high intellect, and uh, they are, when they're talking about a f something that they're passionate about or enthusiastic about, they become quite intense. What else do you need to know about this person, Cancer? Yeah, there are cultural differences. Uh, they could be of another race, religion, uh, from your own. Uh, generational differences as well. So it could be quite a large age gap, maybe 10 plus years. Uh, remain open-minded open about that. Um, love knows no bounds. And they could be a cancer just like yourself. Or if you're cross-watching for a cancer, this is just confirmation really that, uh, that this is the cancer that that you're uh, inquiring about yeah you know this is someone who carries their home with them I, I get a strong sense that they may have moved homes recently they may be in between homes uh, there's a question here about um, looking or seeking real estate um, could be you could be them uh, they, you may have helped them recently uh, find, find, or, or there's something here about finding home or finding a home. Maybe you find a home together. Uh, it could go either way. Now, let's get the personality characteristics of this person, Cancer. Personality characteristics. Cancer's next lover, please. Ooh. Mediator. Okay. Well, this is a gift for negotiation, fairness, strategy. Okay. So that's. Um, I am getting this person is is. If as long as you're fair to them, they'll be fair to you. 
I don't feel that this is someone who will abide any kind of injustice or being treated unfairly in any kind of way. All right. Personality characteristics of this person that's coming in for cancer. I just get a good mix. You know, the two of you just find peace together. Uh, there's not a lot of conflict, not a lot of drama. Okay. Oh, okay. And the oh, oh, cancer, then take this or leave it. it. It's only for some of my cancerians. I don't want to get anyone upset here. But for some cancers, this person will help you find that, that inner contentment. Um, now, what do I mean by that? For some of my cancers, you may have been going through a period in your life where things were just not working. You know, you may be quite unhappy, you may even be angry or very intense about, uh, about your life, about how it's going. And there may have even been some harsh uh, words, so you may have found yourself to be somewhat uh, aggressive or maybe even uh, hiding, hiding your true feelings and intentions under, under kind of a, a peaceful kind of guise, but looking just beneath is this kind of anger and aggression, like a volcano ready to go off. Um, this person will seems to bring you back down to earth, uh, calm you down, make you feel good again, make you feel peaceful again, and, and that's that's a wonderful gift. Um, you know, that when you talk to them, I feel like you could come in being very angry about something that happened in your day. And when you come towards this person, and and it just feels like oh everything's going to be okay because I've got this person in my life. It's like that. It's beautiful energy. Whenever something goes wrong, I feel like this person will help lift you up again. Uh, cancer. Now, what do they look like? Some of this could be you, some of this could be them, so keep that in mind. Cancer's next lover, what do they look like? Uh, red, they, they love the the colour red has of importance. Oh, they could be red-haired, all right. Uh, they could be Australian. Um, now take it or, or leave it. Some of this will be resonant, some of it will not, especially when it's very uh, specific. Um, okay, well, I'm, I actually don't feel that was it because I was thinking of something very specific in my mind there. So I want to reground myself here and get back to this energy that I'm picking up. Okay. Cancer's next lover, please. Physical characteristics. They may be green eyes and they may be um, they may be this generational difference. One person is quite um, yeah, ten plus years in difference, but I actually don't feel like there's much difference intellectually, which is good. I feel like that's that's a good mixture. But there's an actual age difference, but you know, I think that you can forget about that. It's not it's not a big deal. And let's see. How else will you recognize this person when they come in cancer? Okay, yep, age difference again. Confirmation there. Um, they could be the one that that, that is that comes on to you or is uh, asks you out. Uh, they may send you a message or they want to send you a message. And this person has been extremely hurt by a loved one in the past and they already know who you are. Okay, so someone around you in your uh, proximity. Could be someone that you know um, through social media. They may be watching you there. What else do you need to know about this person, Cancer? Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're a very vibrant person. Yeah, this person may be moving or, or has moved quite recently. Uh, I feel like this is someone who, uh, someone that, that, that kind of, you meet very 
serendipitously uh, in the course of a day you know, you're just going about your business and then woo, you meet this person and, and suddenly things change in your life and, and uh, they, they it's like they're a catalyst they're a catalyst uh, they inspire you to perhaps um, move yourself or make some changes in your own life and this person will be there when you're ready I got that message just now they'll be there when you're ready when you're ready for this they will be there for you and it seems to be someone that you already know someone that's been around you, you either you knock this person dead or they knocked you dead I mean not physically but um, it, it's just like that whoa what was that or who was that person yeah they, they, they just kind of wow wow that's just wow it's it's not a uh, it's a very intense meeting the the first time you like lock gazes and you think wow wow I you know I, I really want to get to know or I, w I want to be around that person a lot or there's just something about that first sight of this person that just kind of blew you away or blew this person away uh, cancer can be vice versa now let's do one last card message for cancer regarding this connection cancer's next lover fun times yeah events having fun going out uh, you may spend you may go to a musical event uh, maybe a festival something um, something that's in the sun here it could be a world music event I'm going to leave it there for you Cancerians and wish you all the very best with this if you'd like a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com or you can go to my Etsy store and the link for that is in the box below love the fact that all of you guys uh, continue to press that like button share me on your social media and if you're a newcomer I'd love to have you subscribe Thank you again, Cancer. Please take care and bye for now.